Hey guys, it's Aubrey here, Erie Motorsports. Um, so, weather has been pretty nasty here in the Northeast. Been getting nothing but mud, um, and so we uh, we haven't been out shock tuning or working on the race car at all. Um, we got all fixed up from the last race and it's ready to go. So, here with my co-driver Jesse Horrocks, and uh, we are going to be reviewing some coyote lights, and then we're going to be going out and doing some coyote hunting. So. Um, I got a bunch of different lights here we're going to review. We've got the uh, Elusive 750HD, we got the Sniper Hog Lights, um, Coyote Cannon, the 66 LRX, and the 38 LRX, and we have the Wicked Lights, the Shot Pro, and the WF 402Z. Yeah. W402ZF. <clears throat> Something like that. He'll look it up. Anyways, uh, so we're, we're not going out to King of the Hammers this year. We were trying for it, but, you know, it didn't work out. So uh, we're not racing out there. We're going to go out there. We're going to fly out there and help out with the race. And uh, you know, maybe eat some people, get out in the desert, take some footage. Um, you know, should be. Did you get 402 ZF? 402 ZF. Um, so, yeah. Anything else? I think that's it. Let's take a look at these hog lights. Uh, so one more thing. We are going to try and make a run at King of the Hammers next year. Um, hoping to uh, do a team effort with Murphy's Law Motorsports and um, go out there together and have some fun and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, have a good time and try and finish. So um, we'll see what happens, but uh, that's the plan at this point. All right, so here's all our lights. Uh, what we're going to do is we have this light meter. Uh, it's like a $20 light meter off of uh, Amazon, so nothing fancy. And we are going to shine these lights at um, 20 yards, 250 yards, and 700 yards, and see what they read on the light meter. Because, you know, you can have something that reads really bright up close, but then you get it out and shine it at a distance, and, you know, it's all about the optics and not the LED. So, um we're going we're gonna to test them all out and see which ones does the best. And uh, they all have brand new, fully charged Phoenix or Phoenix, Phoenix uh, batteries in them. So this one, the Coyote Cannon and the Wicked Shot Pro both use a 21700 cell, which is a larger cell. It's 500 milliamp hours. Um, and the rest of them use a 18650 cell which is uh, 3,500 milliamp hours. And these three, um, we're just switching the lens out for this one, for the, between the 66 LRX and the 38 LRX. But those three all um, have a one inch uh, diameter tube, so that'll fit in a one inch scope ring. And the two large ones um, have a 30 millimeter uh, diameter. Uh, we're going to review Leland's light here, too. What's, what's this one? This is a police security flashlight. All right. I don't think we're going to be able to use it at 200 yards, but we can see what it does at uh, 20 yards. Huh, uh, all right. We're going to put these in order. Of, this is what I think. I think. I think this one, and then probably the elusive, and then we're going to probably have that, the wicked, the what's other that? wicked. That's the 66 LRX Coyote Cannon. Uh, so that's the, that's the order that I think they're going to be brightest in. From, from, so we'll, we'll, we'll do them in that order and see what happens. All right, 1811 is the highest I'm seeing on that. 2220 is the highest I'm seeing here. Over. 431. Bro. Nope, 923. 422. 420. Car, could you please be quiet? All right, looks like that one's 232. Eight. Eight's our peak reading on that, bud. That's long, you need to Not quite. All right. 7.1 is the highest that I've seen here. 
Yep, 10.2 is the highest I've seen on that one. I say 2.1 is the highest I'm able to see with that one. All right, 3.8 is my top on that one. Yeah, there's two again. Two. Okay, we're going to say two on that one. So, oh, 1.1. Yeah, 1.1 pretty consistently, so. Yeah, the highest I, I'm seeing on this one now is like 1.5. Yeah, 1.8 1. tops here. All right, I'm gonna say 0. 0.8 on that, 1.4. 1.4, that's not bad. I'm not, yeah, I'm gonna say 0. 0.7 on that. I'm seeing like 0. 0.4. All right, so we just got done um, getting numbers on all this, uh, which I'll put up on the screen here. But uh, the um, Wicked Shot Pro definitely outperformed on lumens uh, at, uh, at all the distances. I don't think we can really rely on our numbers at 700 yards. Like they were pretty iffy. Um, but 200 yards, it seems pretty accurate. I mean, basically from here over, you're not going to be running at 700 yards anyways. That's the, yeah, those ones. Oh, um, we'll show all of the, uh, comparisons up against the building. So you can see this was, we took some shots of this building at 200, uh, no, 120 yards, um, side of the building and the windows were, uh, four by six windows outside of the trim is four and a half foot by six and a half foot. So it gives you a pretty good comparison of the tightness of the beams and um, and the brightness of them. So that aside, right, these have, prices. Yeah, prices. Oh yeah, prices. So uh, this by itself. So I bought these lights by themselves. The Wicked's only come in kits. Um, so this light by itself is one hundred and sixty-four dollars, and then your Sniper Hog light, uh, the sixty-six LRX is one hundred and thirteen dollars, which is you know that's a pretty cheap for what you're getting out of it. That's a that's the uh, if we're putting them in order of brightness, uh, yeah, it would go like that. So, um, which this is just resembling the Sniper Hog light. What model? The thirty-eight LRX. That's it's just a different it. lens, same light. Um, so you're at $300 for this whole kit. They don't sell it by itself from what I could find. Uh, $164 for this one. This one is uh, $113. The, now Wicked doesn't sell this model anymore, but they sell a very similar model, which is a 403 IC. Um, and that just has a a variable intensity control, whereas this one just has a switch that goes between three different settings. Um, and that is $209. The elusive is $159. And then the 38 LRX is $104. And I actually use this on my gun with it, with an IR illuminator um, and the 38 LRX in there. I mean, it really shines out there with the turbo IR illuminator. Um, and the night vision scope. So a couple features here. <clears throat> Shot Pro has a um, focus adjustment from the rear and it has a nice feature where you can set your intensity and then push button on and off. So it's going to come back to the same intensity every time. Uh, Coyote Can does not have that. So this, when you turn it on, it's going to turn up slowly. Now, all of these have tail cap options with um, different uh, remote switches too. So you don't really have to worry about that if you use the remote switch. Does that still have the intensity uh, remote switch? Yeah, it's the same as that one for, oh, okay. the, for the LRX. So it's going to have uh, a push button on and off and then you slide you know, intensity the, control. Which that, the, the Spot Pro is this, it's got a dial on it, right? On the remote switch. Yes, right. that's got a dial on it. Um, and then this one's gonna run the same thing. This just has push button on and off if you just run the tail cap. There's no intensity control. Um, the normal focus. The focus on the sniper hog lights is a little bit, a 
what you call that. But I don't love it. It's not smooth. Yeah. It's just kind of something to fumble with when you're on the stand. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely not as easy as just twisting the tail cap on this. Um, it's not, like, impossible. But yeah. it's still, I wouldn't go with the shot pro, personally. You would go with the shot pro. Yeah. 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 No doubt. And then this is Jesse's light with its uh, custom-made. Sweet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the that one, I don't know if the new wickets come with it, but this one actually allows you to put two uh, 18650 batteries in it, or you can take this section out and just move the tail cap down and put one. But the new ones do that. Right. Do they? I think. I don't know. Uh, the Shot Pro sure. does. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. Yeah, but that's um, focus is in the rear too. So yeah. I don't see how they really get away with that. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say about your light? You've used that a lot. Um, I don't know. There's basically the three settings is nice where you can when you're on the fly in the woods, um, you can bump it easily. It's not a full push of the button. You can bump it to whatever setting you want. It goes in order from brightest to lowest, obviously. Uh, which is handy because it's so uh, instantaneous. The biggest problem I see with the dials, I like without a doubt the push button feature that you can just push it, you can set your dial where you want it. It would be nice if there was some sort of kind of resistor on that that would basically, um, it turns really easy. Oh, so you some resistance. To, yeah, because yeah, you yeah, can just to bump keep that. it because yeah, if you, if you moved it. Um, but it's not like a game changer to where, you know, it would really turn me off on the light. Yeah. Um, so this so one, you just yeah. Oh, so you just do that to yeah. You bump, okay. It's not a full push. It's just uh, you bump it and it huh. dims it. All right. And then the elusive, um, normal focus on that one, and then it's just got it's got no intensity control from there. Um, you can put a remote switch in that too. Uh, they've got a few different remote switches for it. And do this, they, does any of them have an intensity control on the remote switches? Do you know? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, this there's is, no intensity control on that with it, just the light. light right. Okay. Yeah, that's the same as this one, too. That one doesn't yeah. have any. Um, this mount is actually a wicked mount, which I really like because it's got windage and elevation adjustments, so you can dial it right in. Um, whereas the Sniper Hog Lights mounts, um, they have a ball and socket, so you can move this and then tighten it down but it's kind of tough to get it dialed in when it, when you have this thing focused all the way in to get it right in the center of your scope with that style mount the advantage of that style mount is it's much lighter and smaller than that mount right there so what was the price on that one the mount on the elusive no on the elusive light the elusive Well, it'll be in the chart, but it is uh, 159 bucks compared to the Wicked. Well, the Wicked only comes as a kit, but that's 209 bucks. All right. So, so like overall, if, you, if someone wanted to start out, I would say, as far as money spent to kind of get your foot in the door, I would honestly say the Elusive. Um, I think this one right here. This, this one right here is 113 bucks. Uh, and you can get, you can get, there's actually one in between these two as well. Yeah, I'm just saying as far as features go, because that one, it does have a halo on the beam. It doesn't yeah. cast as quite of a beam. So for scanning um, and overall use, I would say that the elusive would, I would probably go with, and then I would go with either the Wicked or the Sniper Hog Light. Hmm. I think if I was if I was going to start out, I would get I would get probably the sniper. It's cheaper than the elusive, um, and you could get a fifty. You get the fifty eight or whatever it is, the one in between these two, mm -hmm. um, which is smaller. It's still going to be bright. I mean, this thing would you could probably use it like six seven hundred yards. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was still pretty bright out there. Mm -hmm. um, with that sixty six LRX, so. Right. And that's that you're getting the game pretty cheap at that point. Most people don't need to shine 800 or a thousand yards. No. So, but if you're looking for the best of the best, I definitely think that the Shot Pro uh, is is the, my favorite because of the rear focus. Uh, I think that's kind of the biggest thing. Smooth rear focus. I don't know. I think just all around. Yeah. I think it's the most versatile. Well, it definitely is the brightest. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I would go with the Shot Pro for the best of the best, and I would go for this for. Economy on, right? 
You got anything else? No, I think that's pretty much it. All right, good. well, the coyotes are out there yelping, so we got to eat some dinner and get out hunting. But um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Tune in next time. Yeah, like and subscribe for more videos. <laughs> Not really like this one, because this is the first one we've ever done that's uh, reviews. Mostly it's motorsport stuff. We'll be taking videos when we're out at KOH. Um, Going to get some drone footage, hopefully, and some footage of some race cars and Ooh, whatnot. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Cool. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more content.